Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rod Rick 17 TV. We are back with more hot lava dripping all over the scene with Jay Hood, none other than the man that is just making a fool of himself. This time, he is pretty much just told on his own self in his own words. He produced a video taking shots at the infamous Lord Jamar, the intellectual God. Can you believe this? Listen, like, share, and I love the engagement in the comment section. And who knows, I might even cash out my number one troll. This is crazy. Psych, never that. But on the other hand, we do got some real OGs dropping gems, straight gems in the comment section. And to you, I definitely may reward. So drop your cash app. Everybody drop your cash app in this section. I want to see it. Somebody's going to get a cash app for me. All right. So let's get ready to bust this brick down and issue this work out to the streets. And like I always say, lock in, strap up, and pay attention. Um, normally, I'm very selective with what I respond to and who I respond to and what I invest my energy in, period. And I know... That I said that I wasn't going to speak about this again, but this deserves a response. You know what I'm saying? And what I'm speaking about is yesterday I'm scrolling through YouTube looking for some new Lakers news and I stumbled upon a video that was interesting and disturbing at the same time. And it was disturbing because it was uh, Lord Jamal um, basically reporting on the situation with me and SP as far as me going to Matt doing the interview and SP responded to it. Now, I didn't automatically think that you know, this uh, specific video was going to be anything negative because I know that Lord Jamal does podcasting and he's into journalism at this point. Um, but after watching the video for about two minutes, I, I seen that this whole video was threaded and biased. And I was immediately disappointed. You know what I'm saying? Because I would I would have thought that this was a person that gathered all the information and facts about a situation before they spoke on it. But boy, was I wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like... Off the back, I seen. I'm like, uh, what? like really? I'm like, damn, this dude's supposed to be a thinker. Or that's what I heard about him. You know what I'm saying? From a lot of respected people, and, and that's not what I got from this video. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play what he said, so I don't misquote anything that this guy, you know, had to say. Yeah. Uh, my brother, my Yonkers brother. Styles P. Well, let's stop him right there. And we'll go right back into it, but I just want to stop him. You have to peep key words that people use when they speak, right? He said, my brother, my youngest brother. So just by him saying brother, he's recognizing him as a brother. So you're showing your alliance straight off the bat. You know what I'm saying? So you could expect bias. All right, let's get back into it. Styles P had some choice words for Jay Hood he did. and Math Hoffa. Um, apparently recently, Math Hoffa, shout out to my man Math, uh, had Jay Hood on his show. And my expert opinion, y'all go check it out. That shit is definitely blowing up right now. Um, And on the show, you know, basically, Jay Hood is talking about some shit that happened like 20 years ago and basically making claims that Dipset, you know, he was a founder man and that he, um, they owe him like 60 racks or some shit like that. And, you know, Let's stop it right there. Now, before I even speak on this, right? Just let me put this out there. I respect all the pioneers and vets in hip hop that came before me. You know what I'm saying? And Brandon Reed is definitely a staple in hip hop. So I just want to put that out there before I even go any further because I am going to go further. You know what I'm saying? So he said that I went on Math Hoffa and I'm speaking about some stuff that took place 20 years ago. Now, 
he's correct about me speaking about something that took place 20 years ago. I'm speaking about that because I was asked what happened and, and what made me want to play D Block. So I spoke on that. Um, as far as making claims, I didn't make any claims. What I said was factual and it's public knowledge. I was uh, an, a, a founding member. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, business wise, on paper, no, I wasn't a co founder. And that's what I said on the interview. I said I was a co founder, which I actually was, just not on paper. Because if they wasn't even going to give an artist what he was rightfully owed as an artist, what would make you think that they would actually give an adolescent a title or a position such as a co founder? Like, it's common sense, right? And, um, as far as me claiming that they owed me 60 G's, I never said that they owed me 60 G's. See, it's evident that you didn't watch the whole interview or it's just a classic case of people just hearing what they want to hear. You feel what I'm saying? Because at no point in that whole video did I ever say that they owed me 60 G's. Really, J-Hood? Really, my brother? Where the math off a clip at? Yo, roll the tape. Something told me one day, just go down there just to check up one thing, just pop up. I ended up popping up with um with one of my guys and we, we sat down with Alan Grumpler who for anyone that doesn't know the general manager mm -hmm. over at Kaj, mm -hmm. we sat down. And he like, listen man, I heard about the unfortunate situation that you guys experienced. I sincerely hope that what we was able to contribute and give you like really helped you out. Too much. I'm looking at him like this is too much. What you talking about? What you gave me? Yes. He looked at me like, okay, man, what you what you talking about what you gave me, man? I'm looking at him like, what you well, for real, what you gave me? What you talking about? He like, listen, man, we cut a $60,000 check oh. and gave the guys when they came down here and told us that your house burned down and you needed assistance. You know what I'm saying? So we hope you, you know, that helped you. I'm like, what are you yes. talking about? No. He looking at me like I'm crazy, like I'm lying. I'm like, bro, I really don't know what you're talking about. Right. So when what I found that? that out, and there was only two people that had authorization to sign off on behalf of me. Who was? I mean, it was Luch and Super Mario. Right. And SP could have, but you know what I'm saying? It was either one of those three. So when that yeah. happened, that's that kind of like made me feel like a, a certain way for real, for real. I'm like, man, damn, like this is, this is. Did you owe them money? No. These are people that actually, my mom gave you the blessing. You came to my mom's on the block, told her, listen, I want to sign your son. I want to do this. I'm going to look out for him. Jay Hood, stop doing it to yourself, my brother. You're digging yourself a deeper hole, man back out now why you can you look bad out here in these streets now let's pick back up where jay hood left off at on his interview tells from the hood stated what the label told me that they did when the guys came down there and told them that my house burned down all right now let's let's keep this going now you, the thing that's bugged out to me, right, is people always want to comment on things that have absolutely nothing to do with them. You feel what I'm saying? Sticking their nose in other people's business. And I understand that you're a journalist, so you have to report on something. But if you're going to report on something, please do it from a non-biased standpoint. You feel what I'm saying? And gather all the facts because this is lazy journalism. You'll get right back into it, though. You know, Styles P said he usually don't feed into this type of shit, but he wanted to address it, and he made a video addressing it. Fact. You know, that's a fact. Saying that basically nobody owes this guy nothing. Um. He never paid for studio time. They used to give him money. They used to fucking, you know, they said to pay for his mom's crib when the crib burnt down, all kind of crazy shit. Like he was tight. He was tight at Mad Hot, Mad Hot. Okay, now he's saying the things that SP said. Now SP definitely said these things, but you could hear in his voice that he actually believes the things that SP said. Now, I already spoke on this, but to speak about this, for the last time, he said that, okay, they, uh, I never paid for studio time. Now, anybody that knows anything about budgets and how budgets work, they know that your studio time 
the studio expenses come out of the budget. Okay, okay, okay. We got more evidence of what you said on the Math Hoffa Barbershop show. Roll the clip. No, but it was it was never no issues with the producers though. That wasn't the issue with the music. Well, what no, I'm, I'm trying to figure out yeah. where the money might have went. Yeah, because oh, twenty well, grand, for the 20, 20 yeah. grand oh, nah, won't nah, nah, pay nah, nah. for that. The budget wasn't cracked at all though. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm aware of where budgets goes and all that. Right. The shit wasn't cracked to my knowledge. To I thought to my former manager's knowledge, but and it wasn't a, a crazy amount. It was probably like fifteen to eighteen thousand missing, but it wasn't paid to. But you also this. never saw that sixty. Absolutely not. Did you approach them on it? No. You Why never not? approach them on it until later on after the fact. Why? What was the what was the response? Why'd you let it sit? Yeah. Who told you that? On top of that, it was it was smoke. Did you not just witness the Cobra Clutch fist of the White Lotus praying mantis drunken master move that Math Hoffa just put J Hood in and completely silenced him? And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Shaheem tried to save him by saying, and on top of that, you know, it was smoke. But when you're in the presence of gods, you must come correct. But watch how J Hood try to change this topic completely by saying this. Look, he brought up Dre, right? And that's interesting that you brought him up because that's, a. I could just add a bunch of different reasons as to why the things that took place took place. Like I was aware of the fact that multiple people were interested in signing me and collaborating for my album, right? And they they let it be known. They spoke to me about the majority of them, but one uh, situation in particular that they failed to to uh, fill me in on was Dre. And Aftermath reached out and said that they was interested in signing me and being coming on board with the project. And they didn't tell me that. The only reason I found out was because when Game started hanging in New York. I chilled with him for like three, four days, and I went to a session with him down in Sony. My God, you gotta give it to J Hood. He's an intellectual guy. He's a smart guy. Did you hear how he just transitioned the topic and avoided those questions? Oh my God, we're gonna have to stop the interview, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm gonna end it by saying this, J Hood, you're a very smart guy. We want to see the best of you. But but what you need to do, I'm afraid you, 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 you're never going to do it, which is paying homage to Styles P, paying homage to Kiss, paying homage to Sheet Looch. That's your only way out of this. Why? Because the streets only is going to respect the real. And that's the only thing you can do is pay homage, my brother. And there's nothing wrong with that. And that's what we expected from you when you got on the Math Hoffa platform. You didn't have to answer any questions. The only loyal thing it was for you to do was to pay homage to who gave you your position in this game. And you supposed to do the work after that. Nothing is going to be sunshine and clouds and lucky charms every day like you expected it to be. Only thing you had to do is pay homage and that's it. And I'm going to end with that. And I'm going to end with also saying I love you. I wish you the best and success. And Rod Rick TV is going to always side on what's real and is always going to stand on the real i love all my subscribers continue to support me and continue to show love and rob rick tv is out peace